Welcome back everyone, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2! This video we are going to continue our discussion of normalization. Now, we've discussed the three normal forms, so I'm not going to go back and explain all of that information again. That's what the previous videos are for. The point of this video is to kind of summarize it so you can look at the big picture. Now, I'm sure you know that the big picture is to help our data be correct, or essentially to improve the integrity of our data. But still, I think there's a couple things I can add to help you understand why we do normalization and why it's important. If you had to summarize normalization and say what these three normal forms do, you could say it helps us better describe an entity. It helps us make sure our data is describing what we want to describe. That means that all of these relate to the key in some way. So the first normal form, the purpose is to make sure everything's atomic for one, but ultimately we want to make sure that the attributes describing the entity are appropriate for that table. So we want to make sure that everything in that table describes the key in the smallest way possible, meaning columns are singular and each row only stores one value for that column. So for first normal form, we need to make sure that all of our columns depend on the key. So a key is just a way to describe the entity. So we'd say user ID would be the way we talk about a specific user. Because think about it, we have to pick an attribute that allows us to talk about an individual thing. We could use a picture, we could use something else. We decided to use an ID, this is the primary key and all of the columns in this table need to depend on the primary key. And each attribute needs to have its own column. Now with second normal form, things get a little bit more complicated because we no longer just have this simple dependency. We have what's known as a partial dependency. Essentially what second normal form says is that every column needs to depend on the entire key if we have multiple columns. So this is most common in many-to-many -many relationships. That's because we'll often have a combination of columns here as the primary key, which means any data in this table needs to depend on both. If it doesn't depend on both, it's what's known as a partial dependency. So second normal form, everything describes the entire key. Now when we go into the grounds of third normal form, we're talking about columns that do depend on the key, but they depend on the key transitively, meaning through another column. So if we have a table, and we have three columns, for example, you have to have at least three. This column might depend on this one, which depends on this one. So you could say, this column depends on this one through this one. <laughs> this is a transitive dependency. So in this situation, this column right here depends on the key transitively here, but it also depends on this column too. So in this situation, there's two dependencies. It might be a little easier to think about this if we switch these columns. So let's say this one depends on this one, which depends on this one. So if we had to label these A, B, C, we would say C depends on B and A. So third normal form gets rid of these transitive dependencies. Another way to word that though is to say that every column depends only on the primary key. So in this situation, C doesn't only depend on A. That's because it depends on the key and another column. So third normal form makes sure that every column describes only the key. So to summarize, first normal form, every column has to describe the key, singularly. Second normal form, every column describes the entire key. And third normal form, everything describes only the key. Or some people say nothing but the key. So they'll say the key, the whole key, and nothing but the key. So that's a pretty good summary of all the three normal forms. Hopefully that was helpful. If you guys want to learn more about normal forms, I do have a database design series where I discuss some more examples. And also you can research online voice cod normal form and some of the other normal forms. We might get into some of those later, but for now I think this is adequate for what we are trying to accomplish. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to click like and leave a comment. And as always, be sure to subscribe to this channel because that really helps me out. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.